In today's instructional video, I'm going to do something a little bit different. Most of my videos up to now have been uh, harmonic in, in nature. In other words, how can we change the harmonies? How can we make the harmony more interesting? How can we revoice chords? Right? Rootless, open, block, quasi block, etc., etc. Okay, in this particular video, though, I want to go over swing rhythm or swing counting. Because if you're going to play jazz, you need to play, you need to know how to swing count. Now, some good songs to uh, use as examples, for example, are a song like Ain't Misbehaving. You can see when you do the lead sheet that typically the eighth notes are written as straight eights. For example, it sound like this with straight eights counting. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and... Okay, that's what we call straight eights or classical eights, if you will. Okay, they're very even. One and two and three and four. That's not the way the song should be played. It needs to be played with swing eights. And the easiest way for me to show you swing eights, or to think about swing eights, is that every note that would normally be on the and, every eighth note that would normally be on the and is now going to be on the ah. Uh. So if I were to play this song in swing, with swing eighth notes, it would sound like this. One and a two and a three. Now it's swinging, and what you want to do is you want to accent notes that are on the uh. One and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a... That's what gives jazz that energy, okay? So instead of having two parts to the beat with straight eights, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and... We're doing three parts to the beat, and we count it one and a two and a three and a four and a... One and a two and a three and a four. syncopation because we're stressing the notes that are on the uh. So again, anything that would have been on the and is now on the uh. Real slow. One and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a... Okay? So if you see the sheet music, uh, just pencil in the counts. Every two eighth notes you're going to have three parts to the beat. You're going to first of the two eighths, the eighth note that's on the beat one, two, three, and four will be counted one end, getting two thirds of the beat, and the second eighth note will get the one third of the beat, the ah, uh, so called ah. Uh. So again, real slowly, one end, a two end, a three end, a four end, a one end, a two end, a three end, a four end. A... Okay, very important when you're playing jazz to be able to count and understand that long short feel, one and a two and a three and a four and a, okay? Now as a kid I used to play some Beatles and one of the songs I tried playing was uh, Help From My Friend and in the song, lots of eighth notes and so I'm playing it as it's written, one and two and three and four I'm playing the song and I'm going, it doesn't sound quite right, what's wrong with this? Well, it's swing eighth Okay, those are swing eighth notes or jazz eighth notes. Okay, they didn't say that in the music. And even if they did, I might not have understood what it meant. So listen to the difference. Now, instead of straight eights, one and two and it's one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a two and a three and a four and a two and a Swing eights. Same thing with a song like uh, Raindrops Keep Falling on My Head. I used to play this in fifth grade, going from classroom to classroom. And again, it was written as straight eights, sounded something like this. This is the way I played it. One and two and three and four. So again,
again. Instead of one and two and three and four and it's one and a two and a three and a four and a one. It's got that lilt. It's got that um, swing eighth. Okay. So if you count every beat in three parts, one and a two and a three and a four and a, and you play the second eighth note that would have come in on the end had you been playing straight eighths, you play that second eighth note on the uh, your music will swing. Okay? You don't even have to go fast, it'll still swing. One and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a two and a three and a four and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a four and a one. It's got that that swing, that energy. Okay? So I would highly recommend penciling in the counts on any songs that you want to swing. Okay, and the question becomes what songs are swing and which aren't. Well, your ear will basically tell you. But if it's a really good arrangement, they'll have a little code at the beginning and it'll show two, two even straight eighth notes, and then an equal sign, and then a triplet where the first note is a quarter note and the second note is an eighth note. So that long short feel, one and a two and a three and a four and a, right? One and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two. Want to be able to control it. You're not going to be able to go fast in the beginning, but you want to control it. Right? One and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three. Set and down, right? It's another good one. A lot of eighth notes, uh, which is going to make you swing even more. The more eighth notes, the more it's going to swing. Okay, so have fun, practice hard, and if you'd like to view some more instructional videos, just go to my website, pianoweb.com. Click on the icon, the uh, YouTube icon, which will link you over to my YouTube channel, where I have over 30 free for the viewing instructional videos. If you'd like to view, excuse me, if you'd like to listen to some audio instructional podcasts, just go to my website, pianoweb.com, click on the podcast menu, drop down menu, and there I have 10 or 12 free for the listening instructional audio files. Okay, practice hard, and be sure to count out loud. In triplets, one and a two and a three and a four, and uh, and just plug those eighth notes in. Have fun.